Hey folks, welcome back. In this session, we are going to learn something very interesting, the types of temperature sensors. We are building numerous applications with IoT and temperature sensors are indispensable in most of these applications. We are going to learn the types and the classification of the temperature sensors and it's important for you to choose the right one because you are building an application for real time. Well, we have got two types of temperature sensor classification immediately that we can see into. The first one is contact based, the second one is non-contact based. The contact based temperature sensors are something which needs to be placed in contact. They are to be in touch with the object with which you are going to measure the temperature. You need to keep them in touch with the object whose temperature you need to measure. So for example, they are like your thermometer where you are keeping it with the person very close to it, keeping it in the, inside the mouth or something like that, right? That's called contact based temperature sensor. So the non-contact based temperature sensors are different. They need not be in contact with the person or with the object whose temperature you need to measure. They remotely detect the IR energy emitted by the object and send it to electronic circuitry for temperature detection. This is also there. So you can choose contact based or non-contact based. Now coming to the specific details about what are all the sensors available and how are you going to uh, choose it, I'll give you some information here. The first one is DHT series. The DHT series has got two sensors available here, DHT11 and DHT22. Most commonly used sensors they are from this series and they are digital temperature sensors which can measure both temperature as well as relative humidity. So you need to understand we are getting one more thing in addition to temperature measurement. We also get the relative humidity very clearly measured. The next series is called LM series, LM35, LM335, LM34. These are the linear temperature sensors that come directly calibrated in any one of the temperature units. For an instance, LM35 if you take, it's calibrated directly for Celsius. So you can measure Celsius, uh, the temperature can be measured in Celsius when you go with LM35. LM34 comes directly with Fahrenheit calibration. You can measure temperature in Fahrenheit. LM335 comes directly with Kelvin support. So you can choose appropriately which, whichever version you want, whichever option you want based on the requirement. The analog output from these sensors is directly proportional to the temperature. Remember it, the analog output will be directly proportional. And these sensors are very easy to use and they have a large temperature detection range. There is one other sensor which is LM75. It's a special sensor in the LM series. It can be interfaced using I square C. And remember, we need SDA and SCL lines. If you know I square C, you will understand what it is. So uh, please choose LM75 when you are going to go ahead with I square C. But otherwise, normally people stay with LM35, LM335 or LM34. Well, the next series is BM series. BM uh, series is also equally famous. BMP 180, BME 280. These are the most famous sensors that are available in these ranges. And these are barometric sensors which can measure temperature. There is some additional value add to it. These sensors are mostly used when you have the pressure, humidity and temperature are to be measured together. For example, when you use BME 280, you could also measure the pressure and humidity alongside temperature. That's something very good, right? The next one is DS18B20 temperature sensor. It is a one wire digital temperature sensor that offers excellent accuracy. It is also available in waterproof version. So whenever you are going with temperature of the uh, liquid measurements, you may want waterproof sensors and there this could be really useful. And remember, it is a one wire digital temperature sensor. I have taught how to interface one wire digital temperature sensors in my IoT sessions as well. So if you want any clarity, probably you can refer that to. The next one is MLX series. MLX90614, MLX90615. These two are the contactless infrared digital temperature sensors. I repeat, they are contactless infrared digital temperature sensors, which can be used to measure the temperature of objects without any physical contact. So this is what I told you. There are two basic classifications. One is contact based, another one is contactless. And the MLX series is contactless. Hope this was really useful. I could not find this information in many of the videos. That's, all, that's why I thought I can put it here. Uh, if you have any questions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be very happy to answer. If you have suggestions, please type it. I'll look into it as well. Thank you very much for following my channel content. Thank you.